Hey everyone, this is Rohit, currently a software engineer at PayPal and in this video, I'm going to share my personal experience with interviewing with Google. The like target of this video is 10 likes, so smash the like button. So let's talk about one, how did I get the interview? So I got a referral for an opening at Google and after approximately one month, so I got a call from a Google recruiter. Two, what was my resume look like? So I've made another video on this regarding how you can make a resume. So click on the top right corner so you can get to know about more about my resume and how your resume should look like as well. Let's talk about my background. So I have graduated from Pune University, India Patel College, Akhurdi. You might have not heard of this college name if you're not from Pune. I had a total of 1.5 years of experience in, in Veritas Technologies. It's a product based company in data storage domain. So now let's go into the experience part. So the, this inter interview timelines were at the time when I was interviewing with PayPal and in the first recruiter call, they asked me my background and experience and any competing offers. And the surprising thing was that the recruiter asked me data structure questions like what is the time complexity of heap sort and Python core questions like difference between tuples and list. When should we use DFS and when should we use BFS? Overall, the recruiter asked me these 10 to 12 standard data structure algorithm questions and I felt like this was kind of a surprise test but I think that the recruiter was asking this question so that they know how much time I would approximately need for preparation. But this is just my guess, I don't know or have not heard anyone getting rejected at this, this stage of the recruiter call. I guess if you answer all the questions wrong, you might be, but that only happens when you have made up your entire resume. So the recruiter told me that there would be one or two full screen interviews, three technical on sites, and one Googliness round, which would be a behavioral round. So if the first interview, they were not able to take a concrete decision of moving to on site, I guess they would take a second phone interview. In my case, I gave only one phone interview and if I would have failed the phone interview rounds, then I would have a cool down period of six months. However, if I fail the on-site rounds, then I would have a cool down period of one year. So that's something that I thought that everyone should know about. Now, what happened was I did not hear anything back from the recruiter regarding the phone interview scheduling for three to four weeks. And I thought that the recruiter had ghosted me and I did not study for the interview seriously. And I did lead code casually. This was one of the biggest mistake I did. So don't do any kind of self assumptions. In my case, I did email the recruiter, but it seemed that the recruiter was busy. So do note that the hiring process for Google takes time. I won't be sharing the exact question that I got from Google as I have signed an NDA. I can say that it was a tree based question, a lead code medium question, a tree based lead code medium question. And I was able to solve the questions and I had five minutes at the end of to spare some time to, to ask some questions. This was for the phone screen. After approximately two weeks, I got a call from the recruiter stating that I have cleared the phone interview. So I was proceeding with the on-site rounds. Each on-site rounds would be of 45 minutes only. The number of questions which I feel that they would ask me would be two medium questions or one hard, one easy or one hard questions to be solved within 35 to 40 minutes because you have introductions and last five minutes of asking them questions. From what I have observed, is that Google tend to have a follow up question to save time as giving new questions to the candidate takes time to understand the problem. So they ask one question and tend to slightly modify the input and make it a second question. So there are two questions in that sense. For my first on site technical round, I was really nervous as this was my first on site and I know that Google interviews are tough. The questions I got was based on graphs and basic graph algorithm question for the first part. For the follow up question, I would have to modify my existing graph algorithm to work. I got stuck for the five minutes and I, I tried to think out loud. I made sure that the interviewer know what my thought process was. With slight guidance from the interviewer, I came to know what kind of changes I had to do my code. In the end, I had a four to five minutes of time left. So I asked the interview certain type of questions regarding Google. Note that there is no elimination round for on sites, at least while I was interviewing with Google. So regardless of the interview performance of each on site, I would move on to the next stage unless I really bombed the interview, like not even writing a code. 
for the second onside round that was where things went really gone bad for me the second major mistake i did was not practicing enough dp problems and dp problems were my weakness throughout my interview prep and dp problems were my weakness the third mistake i did for this onside round was i had a cup of chamomile tea before i went for the interview that i thought that it would ensure that i would be able to handle the interview pressure but it made me so relaxed that i was not able to perform at my 100% i know that this sounds silly but i would never forget this mistake for sure for, throughout any interviews so the question that the interviewer asked me for this attack on site round was a dynamic programming question and the funny part was when i asked for the inputs and outputs of the problem and the interviewer asked me how the input is valid for a given example i i was expecting the interviewer to explain the problem but this was not the case uh, i just got a question and he kind of kept quiet most of the times i think he was listening to my thought process and he wanted me to ask more questions so that might be his interviewing style so at the end i was able to come up with a, at least a beautiful solution and code it up i am sure that there were certain typos that i made in the interview and the interviewer also said that there were a few minor bugs but it will still work at the end however the time complexity for the solution was for the beautiful solution was very bad if you like this type of content please subscribe to my youtube channel on round 4 which was the on site round i had my googleness interview and it was just a basic behavioral round where they ask me about my background ask few scenario based questions like how would you take certain decisions based on certain scenarios how i would prioritize things in a tight deadline and a few couple of standard behavioral questions this went well according to me because these interviews are quite subjective and there are no right or wrong answers the intention of the interviewer is to see your attitude and how your thought process is in specific scenarios that the interviewer tries to describe This interview should be the easiest among all the interviews. For the last round which was a technical round, I was already demotivated by the previous on-site for the technical round where I had a DP question, so my morale was down. Nevertheless, I tried to focus and did a little bit of lead code before this round. The question I got was based on recursion and binary tree. It was pretty simple question to be honest, and I think I would have completed it, but I did the same mistake again. on on site to which i did not realize at that time and rang the same tea and it made my brain switch off i was able to solve the question and give the brute force solution but the interviewer was looking for an optimal solution and he i can see from his expression that he was not really happy but still the interviewer was kind enough to give me 5 to 10 more minutes to complete the code and i felt that this was the friendliest round which i had for all the technical interviews So what's the verdict? So no offers. So unfortunately, I did not get an offer from Google. So let me summarize my mistakes and hope you learn from them. So number one is don't eat anything or drink anything that you are not familiar with, or at least your body is not familiar with. Second is lack of preparation. So be prepared no matter what. If you get the recruiter response or not, so always stay prepared. If not, have multiple different interviews scheduled so that if one company does not give you an interview, your preparation would not be in vain, and you can always give the next shot with a different company. Practice hard questions if you are preparing for Google. I did practice medium questions, but I felt personally that I did not practice enough hard questions. Felt that if I could have practiced more hard questions, I could have uh, given the interviewer. I could have cracked the interview. And the last point would be don't give Google as your first company interview. Try to interview with other companies having similar format as Google and gain confidence by cracking other interviews first and then go for big tech companies like Google. I hope you like this video.